Hello everyone, Alex here, and I'm going to show you how to properly install the replay mod. Now, I use my replay mod for all of the third person time lapses in all my videos, and so does my buddy Holden from Dowscraft. Um, but we never figured out how to get it to work, but I figured out a way how to get it to work, and I am going to show that in a tutorial. So first off, we are going to need to install a few things. First off is the replay mod itself. Click download now and click the version that you currently have. Right now it's 1.12.2. I don't know why I said dot or point. It'll bring you to this ad fly, which is always annoying. Um, don't click anything. It's all junk, but don't worry. The This is safe. Uh, ad fly is just a pesky little thing. I don't know what. And then you'll get this jar file. When it's done downloading, since it's a jar file, it's gonna tell you it may be harmful. That is because it's just a jar file keep and that's the replay mod installed next you will need something called ffmpeg this is straightforward um, we're not going to be downloading the video editor this is just basically a driver for it to work so you want to click download you want to click the operating system you have Linux Windows or OS or Apple um, I have Windows and I'm basing all this off of Windows so it may be different for Linux users or uh, Apple users. Uh, you want to click the latest version, you want to click the bit you have, so I have Windows 64 bit, and you want this to be static. Then you download it. It'll download as a zip file. When that is all set and installed, you will need to download one other thing, which is a batch file, and I accidentally already downloaded it. Um, I, I'm not at the site because once you put that URL in, it automatically downs, downloads it for you. I will put the link in the description. Now that all three things are downloaded, now what we want is to go to our downloads folder, which everything should be in, and we will start with ffmpeg. So, not pig, peg. So, have your downloads folder uh, all set, and just saying I am doing this on a Windows 10 PC, so this may, again, be different on other versions of Windows or even Mac OS. But go to your C drive, or your drive that has your operating system, you'll know this because it has that Windows sign and you'll be prompted with this. You want to create a folder called FFmpeg, exactly like that, and in it, you want to drag, you want to, well first of all you want to extract this, and then you want to drag and drop that into here. After that, you want to drag this into here, and then you want to run it. Uh, specified value is saved, successfully set MF, FFmpeg's path variable. What this basically does is this prevents you from having to go into the uh, bin, of your entire windows and have to put this in this sets it for you and then you can press any key you are all set uh, last but not least we have to actually install the mod so to do that you need to go into your minecraft folder um, and there's a bit, bit of ways to do this but just go to your windows button push percent app data percent and it'll prompt you with that if you're on a windows 7 or older it'll say roaming that is the exact same thing you want to go to your dot minecraft folder and you, this is basically your Minecraft folder. This is your world, your screenshots, your resource packs. What you will not have here, if you just download Minecraft defaultly, are these four folders here. Your mods, your replay mods, your replay recordings, and your replay videos. These come with the replay mod. Um, this is where you, the folder of all your mods, and you will be putting it in there. So it, you just put the jar file in there and boom your mod is literally installed nothing else one thing that I forgot is forge but um, if you're de dealing with mods you should pretty much already have this forge is basically when you open up minecraft you select it to run your mods instead of vanilla minecraft you download your windows and you download the installer um, this is the recommended I recommend the recommended um, the latest may have bugs which is why there's a bug in it um, download the installer the MDK is for modders that um, make mods, and don't don't worry about all of it. Just download the installer, and you should be good to go. And if you did it correctly, and if I did it correctly, when you run Minecraft, you should have the play re uh, latest release, but you'll also have this specific one. Uh, make sure that you do also cor um, download the same exact uh, version of Minecraft you have, and if you run it, and give it some time to load.
and you should be prompted with this. Um, you should have the mods, but you should have replay viewer, replay editor, and replay center. Um, these come with the replay mod. Uh, I'm not going to make a tutorial on how to use the replay mod. This is just the tutorial of how to install it. If you want me to make a mod of how to use replay mod, then please ask. Uh, it's very straightforward. It's not hard. It's just a bunch of key framework. And yeah, that's about it. Um, go to your mods, you know, forge, uh, and then the replay mod right here. Then you can have all of your uh, replay stuff. And uh, when you record, when you ju first join a world, when you go onto a world, it will automatically start recording and that's about that uh, I can't share my folder because it also shows you can also do multiplayer and it'll show the multiplayer IP and it's the IP for the Mochar server so I can't leak that uh, like I accidentally did but anyway guys that's the end of this video here this is an informative video so I hope you have learned something and um, if you want me to make more tutorials like this other than redstone tutorials that'd be great um, I will but that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.